This uh, segment, we're going to try to demonstrate the physical exam for medial and lateral epicondylitis. The first step in the physical exam is to identify where this exam for lateral epicondylitis is to ex identify where the lateral epicondyle is. I don't know if you can see it well on the video, but there's a bony prominence here, which I can see and I can really easily find with my finger. And that's the lateral epicondyle. It's not the olecranon, which is this very prominent point, but right up here, less prominent, more lateral instead of posterior. That's the lateral epicondyle. And people with lateral epicondylitis will be very point tender to pressure there. The next step and the second part of the exam is to test the wrist and finger extensors. The way we do that is we want to stretch them first. And I'll try to show the importance of getting this test done with the elbow straight by using this rope. Uh, this sort of demonstrates or represents the common extensor muscles. They attach not here, but above the elbow on the humerus, on the lateral epicondyle. So if the elbow's bent, they're on slack, and if we straighten the elbow out, they become on tension. So we want them on tension for this test. So the elbow's gotta be straight. And I'm gonna flip you over, palm down, great. And to do the test, I have him push his fingers and wrist up, that motion, against me. And I'll put my fingers here so I don't just push him down. And he's pushing up here, I'm pushing down here. I'm supporting his elbow here. And that, if he has lateral epicondylitis, by tugging on those wrist and finger extensions, extensors on their attachment point, that'll cause severe pain here. The test for medial epicondylitis, we start again with point tenderness. So here you can easily see the medial epicondyle. The people with medial epicondylitis will be tender there. And we'll straighten them out again to put that all on tension. This time, the group of muscles we're putting on tension is the common wrist and finger flexors. And the test is to have him flex those against resistance. So he's going to be pushing his wrist and fingers up toward the ceiling. I'll support here again. So again, I'm pushing down, he's pushing up. And if we're doing it right and he's getting medial and he has medial epicondylitis, he'll get pain when those flexors tug on their attachment onto the medial epicondyle. All right.